It is natural for a three-year-old Labrador to be playful, but Spain is different from her peers. Once she's dressed, playtime is over. Going downstairs, finding pedestrian lanes, crossing roads. After a year together, Chen Xing and Spin formed a great partnership. Before I had Spin, I had to rely on others if I wanted to go out. My family was quite worried every time I would go out on the street. Since I've had Spin, they've been reassured, and I can now enjoy more free time outside. Chen Xing knows a convenience store far from her home along with her cousin, and she usually goes there by taking subways. The changing and spinning going outside usually means rejections, but thanks to the city's new regulations, it allows guide dogs to enter into public areas and to take public transportation. It is a big yes to those visually impaired in the city. The new regulations allows her to take any public transportation in the city with Spain freely. There are currently only 20 dogs in Shanghai, so the sight of Spain garners a few interested stares from other passengers. But when people notice her special uniform, Spain is always warmly welcomed. These guide dogs are well trained. It is good to see them in public areas. They really make things more convenient for the visually impaired. I watched a movie on guide dogs and how they work with those visually impaired. I feel happy seeing them here. I think the regulation is very good. Getting off one line is just part of the commute day. Spin has to help Chen Xing switch to another line. Spin is also able to select the most convenient path for her master. After nearly an hour-long trip, Chen Xin and Spin finally arrive at their destination. With the weather getting warmer, Chen Xin wants to take Spin out more often to reward her for her hard work. Chen Xin hopes this new regulation is just the first of many more to come, allowing those with disabilities to enjoy all the facets of urban life. Shui, CCTV, Shanghai.